As we uh, come to congregational prayer and uh, talking about the offering, uh, there's a couple things uh, we wanted to know. The offering, first of all, is for Ottawa Chaplaincy Ministry. Uh, that is primarily the work that Sid Ipma um, work does in, uh, in Ottawa at uh, the University of Ottawa. And uh, so... Uh, Pray for him, for Pastor, for Sid, and also check out their work on Facebook or Instagram, and, and you can read more uh, there. Also, um, the the deacons, and uh, we just wanted to uh, read, we got a letter, uh, a little postcard from World Renew, and though that is not what the offering is for today, uh, we just thought it would be nice to share. And so... This is what uh, the folks from World Renew say to us uh, through uh, Peter Boltheis, who's the church and communities engagement uh, person. Athens CRC. We thank God for his amazing grace, and we thank God continually for you and your support. You have impacted as many lives across the world, uh, across, you have uh, excuse me. You have impacted so many lives across the years for Christ. Thank you. May he continually, gr may he continue to grant to you uh, health and a strong community hand. Uh, even in, on especially, that is, uh, this COVID uh, situation. <laughs> so, Blessings from Peter Boltice and World Renew for that. So, um, also, we wanted to uh, let you know that uh, we, um, Alex and Julie's grandson, Oliver, um, is continuing to do very well. Yes, excellent. So, that is a great praise. Um, this is the son of Brian and Jody. Uh, Jody, uh, Alex and Julie's daughter, of course. Um, Oliver, his, um, they did the surgery to move his uh, organs that had been. Um, in the wrong spots to their correct spots um, and those organs are all functioning well uh, they're functioning properly uh, he does also have it's his right lung that's good one, one of his lungs is doing quite well and is pretty pretty well developed uh, the other lung is is not developed well um, at all. Um, however, people can live and do live lives with only one lung, um, and so it is quite possible for Oliver to, um, to lead a uh, totally normal life with one lung underdeveloped or not developed at all. However, uh, it is also not necessarily true that it won't develop, and so um, we will keep on praying that his other lung will develop. He is also, uh, is he fully off the fentanyl now, or, yeah, so he is off fentanyl, which is great. Uh, he is also taking uh, milk, uh, which is great, and, uh, and so we're just so grateful for how that is progressing, and we praise God for that. Yay! Also, having to do with more babies, uh, Lord willing, we will be baptizing Ada uh, Osterhoff today, a little bit later. Um, I, we will record it, um, and then it will, be, um, it will be played in church and online uh, probably next week. Uh, and so we will have that baptism as well. And so we're so grateful for that opportunity, uh, too. Let's see. I think those are all the particular things that I needed to update you on pastorally. So let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we do thank you so very much again for bringing us together this morning, uh, wherever we may be throughout this world. Lord, we pray that you will continue to unite our hearts in love through the power of your spirit, for we know that we are one body in Christ Jesus who is our head. Father, we pray for this whole world, O oh God, 
We think particularly this morning of Honduras, where uh, they have had two hurricanes go through there in, the, in, in a matter of weeks, and uh, they are struggling mighty, mightily. Lord God, please be merciful upon the people of Honduras and help us, O oh God, together with churches throughout this world to help the people of Honduras. We pray also, O oh God, for the people of Ethiopia who are now experiencing war, civil war uh, among themselves and, and uh, escalating, escalating um, conflict with Eritrea. Lord, we pray that you will be with the people of Ethiopia and Eritrea. And uh, Lord, would you bring peace there, O oh God? Father, we pray as well, that you will be with all of our folks here at home. We thank you so much for, um, for all of our families, whether, uh, whether it is a single person, which is a family unit unto itself, or whether it is a, a huge extended family with many, many people. Father, we thank you for each and every one. We pray, O oh God, that you will be with us, that we will uh, glorify you in all that we do, and that you would protect and guard these families so that they too may glorify you in all that they do. Father, we pray for, uh, we pray for Oliver. We thank you so much for uh, the, this beautiful and wonderful progress that has been made in his life. We thank you for doctors and other health care workers who are helping him. We, we thank you so much for the love and attention that he is receiving in the, in the NICU from, uh, from all the health care workers there. And we thank you so much for Brian and Jody's faith in you and for them, uh, for their, their wonderful attitude as they look forward to receiving their son uh, home, hopefully in time for Christmas. Father, we pray also that you will continue to be with Steve and uh, Steve and Lindsay Osterhoff and little Ada and their whole family. Lord God, please bless them as um, this baptism occurs, but also as they and all of our families continue to seek to raise their children in the way that they should go. We pray as well that you will be with John and Belinda Newman, and particularly that you will be with Belinda as she is in the hospital uh, for the time being. We pray that you will uh, help her and her uh, little one, her unborn child, uh, to stay together, uh, to, for that child to stay unborn for still some time yet. Lord, we pray too that you will continue to be with uh, Sid Ipma and the work that he does with Ottawa Chaplaincy. We pray that you will bless the ministry there and that many uh, young people, not only at uh, the University of Ottawa, but everywhere, Lord, that many young people would come to know you, even though they may be studying remotely during this season. Father, we pray that our offerings would be a pleasing aroma to you. May they uh, expand, may they serve to expand your kingdom, and may we serve you not only with these financial gifts, but also with our time and our talents as well. Father, we pray that as we come to your scriptures in the message this morning, that you would open our hearts and minds to hear what you would have us hear. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 